Breaking news. Vice President Yemi Osibanjo makes a shocking revolution with regards to Nigeria as a sovereign nation, Nigerian sovereignty, or what will happen with regards to this country, you know, if Nigeria splits up. And this is rather causing a lot of reactions. You'll be surprised what Nigerians have been saying and um, how the vice president has been perceived, you know, with regards to, you know, what could possibly lead to uh, a breakup and how things will follow afterwards. Okay. So this is what is happening. They said the poverty in the country, I mean, what is said about poverty and issues going on and how Nigeria will become, you know, it's sparking a lot of reactions after the vice president gave his opinion with regards to some of these issues going on. Please don't forget to give us a thumbs up, like us, share, subscribe. Let's get all the details. Vice President Yemi Osibanjo has stated that the poverty level will increase if Nigeria breaks up. Osibanjo said this while receiving delegations of the Muhammad Buhari Osibanjo Dynasty Support Group at the Presidential Villa Abuja on Thursday, December the 2nd. Maintaining that the security challenges in the country will be resolved in due course and that Nigeria will be stronger and greater, the Vice President added that the unity of the country is important for everyone. He said, we must never relent in ensuring that we keep to the ideas of the country and we don't lose sight of what we are trying to achieve here. Mr. President has always remind, remained steadfast and focused on resolving the problems of the country, beginning with security. He steady hand, in his steady hand, we are working to ensure that these problems become a thing of the past. He is not panicked. He's not panicking. He's focused on looking at the security situation every day, trying to achieve the best possible solution, Osibanjo has said. But Nigerians have been reacting based on this. People who suggest that the country breaks up, whatever may be the reason for their view, are certainly not correct and must say so. We must say so to them and let them know that the unity of this country is important for all of the different ethnic religions, everybody, whatsoever group or idea, the unity is more important to every one of us. For a country that is the most largest economy in Africa and definitely going to be one of the largest economy in the world, to start thinking in terms of fragmenting itself, if we fragment, the problems are still going to multiply. Poverty will multiply. And we may even regret that very action. So why are we trying to explore an, an avenue that we have not checked and see to it that could be a possible way to work out things that are currently facing the country? The country fragmenting is not the way forward. The country being dissociated is not the way that could possibly give us that edge. If we want Nigeria to be better and we want things to be sorted, we must all decide we must all work together and no one must be thinking about breaking up the country. If we break up the country today, it does not give us that position or give us the advantage that things will change. Things can only and we will only change if we all work together and put our own support here and there to bring about safety for the country. So this is what is going on right now, Nigerians. This is what is happening. This is what is going on. We cannot continue to deceive ourselves and pretend that all is well. We must all now rise up and say the truth as it is, and we must not, you know, pretend that things are not going well. Things are, you know, things are not working, and things are not going well. I, I, I expect that, you know, a, 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 you know, Osiba and Josh should have really spoken in terms of the insecurity, you know, because um, we say Buhari is working, but I mean, how effective is the work being done, being deposited to the country? What work is he actually and truly doing? And how is he bringing on, you know, the truth 
into governance because there are so many people and persons who potentially will expect that Vice President Yemi Osibanjo should be able to give, you know, uh, an idea with regards to, you know, the security situation because Nigerians are truly and sincerely expecting that much more should be done in that light in that regard rather than, you know, pretending that things are working, you know, when they are not working. You know, so this is it. This is it. This is what is working. This is what, you know, he said, uh, uh, I mean, it, it, again, it is the vice president's opinion, in his own opinion, he feels Nigeria should stay uh, together as one. Okay, some other persons do not share that same idea. Some other persons feel that it is better for the country to go, everyone go on your own. Everyone go to your to your tent to Israel. Okay, mm -hmm. so, I mean, different strokes for different folks. Why some believe that we should stay together, some believe that no, it is high time everybody goes on their own. The problems will be so will be solved, uh, things will be lighter and things will be better. But truly, really, really speaking, is that is that is that a way forward? And if we're going to stay together, what about the problems? Are they being addressed? Are we getting real, you know, real, uh, 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 real uh, 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 position on what the truth really is? Can we really get the, the true idea? Can we really get the truth? Because we, we're hearing now that, uh, you know, you know, uh, 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 we, it's best for the country to stay together, which is, I mean, which is a good one. It's good, you know, getting your, you know, getting uh, uh, your, 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 your stand is good. It's good that the country stays together. However, if the country is going to stay together, how do we sort out the problem of nepotism? How do we sort it out? Because this is part of the problem why people want out. How do we sort out the problem of nepotism? How do we sort out the problem of, you know, of all these things? You know, how do we sort out all this problem? This is why Nigerians, Nigerians have to tell the truth. Nigerians have to be honest and we must stop deceiving ourselves. Okay, Osibanjo's words have been causing a lot of reactions. Some people believe he's not being honest with the truth. He's being economical with the truth, you know, but it is what it is. It is what it is, you know. So, my people, what do we do? Going forward, how do we sort this out? Osibanjo is his opinion that Nigeria should remain as one, which is good. But if Nigeria is going to remain as one, what is the government doing to ensure that people feel comfortable leave us a comment we'd love to hear from you please do not forget to like us share subscribe click on the notification button so you can get all our latest news god bless you have a fantastic day bye for now